It is fantastic we're out here today, but something we should remember is uh, what we can do. There are two, three hundred, maybe more, that I can see just in my eye vision. I want to get a commitment from all of you today. The Senator McCaskill's offices are right there. I want all of you, in the next two months, to call and set a time for 15 minutes to go talk to her. Because the protests are great, but we know what the media is doing. We know everybody here is supposed to be a violent racist. Those, that's what they've been saying. They've been cutting video to make it look like that. There have been plants at the town halls that we've caught. There are fake doctors. If you really want to be heard, this is fantastic. We've done a great job during the recess. But you have to go in and schedule time with every one of your representatives, with Bond, with Aiken, with Clay, wherever you live. You've got to go in there in the next two months. And I ask you, and I get a commitment, that you'll take 15 minutes to help save your republic in the next two months. Will you call in to the offices and give us 15 minutes? Every one of you, it doesn't take much time, just once and two months. Go in and talk about health care. Go in and talk about cap and trade. Talk about spending. Obama has now admitted he's not adding seven trillion to the debt. He's adding nine trillion to the debt. He's doubling the debt. That's not even the deficit. He's quadrupled the deficit, but he wants to double the debt. At what point does government have to tighten its belts? If you guys can take 15 minutes and get in there and just let them know that if they if they vote for these things, we're going to volunteer. We're going to give money. We're going to get time. We're going to throw whoever voted for these out of office. And, in, and when we elect new people. We're not going to stop. We're going to keep watching them because we know that politicians are like diapers. They need to be changed, often for the same reason. <laughs> 15 minutes, guys. Good. That's all we ask. Please don't don't leave today without making a note to yourself and call in and schedule time with the staff. Be polite, be courteous, but you need to get in there. Thank you. To send an individual letter. Everybody you know then turns into a hundred, turns into a thousand, and so forth, until they get the message. If their officers are stacked to the ceiling with our letters, they will get scared.
people down there. 